Hey guys, welcome back to Bella Biz Lunches. If you're new, welcome. My name is Amy and today we're making a miniature charcuterie board. I've never made one of these before, but I've looked at a lot of them on Pinterest and on TikTok and on YouTube. So I'm kind of excited to give it a try. We'll see how mine turns out. And this is going to be a little after school snack for Bella. So we are getting close to the end of the school year, our first year in homeschooling. And let me tell you, it's been a journey. So right now, I actually have Bella trying out a new math program called QMath. And I wanna first say thank you QMath for sponsoring this video. QMath is an interactive online platform for learning maths. One of their unique selling propositions is that the classes are taught one-on-one -on -one instead of in groups, which I prefer for Bella. The name QMath comes from their core philosophy. Their teachers never give out the answers, but cue the students by giving hints to help them come up with the answers on their own. This helps strengthen their math foundation and helps them become critical thinkers and apply math in real life while empowering them to become independent problem solvers. So while Bella finishes up her schoolwork, I thought we could make the little charcuterie board and I could go over some of the features of QMath that I like. If you want to make learning math fun for your children, then you should check out QMath from the link mentioned below in the description box. Using the link below, you can get access to a free trial class. Do sign up for it and experience the process for yourself. So I think what I might have to do is adjust the camera angle so you guys can actually see my board and what I'm doing. So I'm going to adjust you right now. I have an overhead tripod that I can put you on and we will make the charcuterie board. This is going to be so much the fun. The first thing I'm going to attempt to do is probably not the smartest thing to start with, but it's where you take a cup and maybe my cup is too little. I thought my cup was going to be too big. We'll see how this works. And you're supposed to line your cup with salami so see how I did that I kind of draped it across okay so then we're gonna do another one like halfway and then a third one right here while I'm making this little salami rose let me tell you one of the things I really liked about QMath I like that it's live and that the teacher is right there and able to help the child immediately but I also liked that it featured a STEM accredited curriculum for students in kindergarten through high school, and it was aligned with the Common Core curriculum. So if you've recently started homeschooling, the math techniques may be very familiar to your child, or if your child is needing extra help, this is a perfect after-school math tutor to help your child boost their confidence in math. So we're gonna take the board that we're using, and I think I want this to be like maybe should we do it like up in the corner or have it in the center i think up in the corner so i'm going to pop it down like up here ready oh my gosh it's huge i like it how did i <gasps> what it looks good oh my gosh okay so there we go so maybe we could do like a couple little laughing cow guys. I have some cream cheese and ham. So I'm going to, and then a couple pickles that we are going to wrap up. And I'm gonna take my pickles and just roll these guys right on up. And <laughs> this little guy, roll them right on up. And we like to have ours just sliced like this. Let's just pile these guys up, maybe just right here. So in this little spot right here, I'm going to give her some shredded cheese dip. And this is for the salami rose. It's so good with the salami. So I'm just gonna have them nestled up next to each other. I thought I'd better give her a little bit of fruit. So I have these really yummy grapes. And I don't know, I feel like I've seen these kind of sporadically placed when I've looked at other charcuterie boards. So that's what I'm going to do. 
Okay, I'm gonna use the same cutting board because it's going to be fine. And I'm gonna cut one pepper in half, and then I'm gonna take one of my peppers and I'm going to cut out a circle using this little guy. So let's see how it turns out. So now I have a little pepper circle <laughs> that I've cut out. Now out of my pepper circle, I'm going to cut a little triangle out. Many of you that have been with us for a while, you already know where I'm going with this. Now I'm introducing to you two little black olives. So with this black olive, I'm going to cut him just in half through half of him. Does that make sense? So just this part. So he opens up like this, but he's still one whole black olive. Then we're gonna take a little bit of cream cheese and stuff it in our black olive. Sometimes if I'm messy, I just take a napkin and I clean up any of my mess on the outside. Then we're gonna take this black olive, so set that little guy down, and we are going to put into this black olive, into his big hole, we're gonna put in this little triangular piece. Just like that. Easy, right? Now you're gonna take a toothpick and put it right through the top of that guy. And we're gonna put the toothpick right through this guy. Do you see where I'm going with this? And then we're gonna take a toothpick and put it right through our pepper. You can also use cream cheese if, or you can also use carrot if that's what you got. But I don't have any carrots today. And now you have a cute little penguin for your charcuterie tray. <laughs> Do I say that weird? So we're gonna set him right onto there. Oops, it's kind of lopsided. There we go. So now I'm gonna take my extra little pepper, my other half guy, and I'm gonna give him a little bit of cream cheese and sprinkle on some everything but the bagel seasoning. I'm gonna put some crackers right here, I think. I also have these cheese curds straight from a dairy farm, so I thought I would give her a few of these. These are garlic cheese curds. Let's cover up my stains on my cutting board. There we go. I also have some cute little cucumbers. I really didn't want to cover this up. I might have to. Okay, I'm going to move this into the center a little bit more. I'm going to add a couple more of these peppers just because one is not going to be enough. She definitely will not share the one, and I kind of want to have one too. A few black olives because those two definitely will not be enough. Okay, you guys, here it is all completed. My little penguin dude is not wanting to participate uh, and listen, but he's going to knock over. Stand up. Uh, look at how it turned out. How fun. A little salami flour, some cheese dip for the salami, some crackers for this cheese or this cheese or this meat or all of it, grapes, cucumbers. I did add um, the other part of this pepper. I just kind of cut it up and threw it down here. And then we have the peppers up there, pickle roll-ups, my cheese curds. Yum. I don't know. This thing just looks so fun to me. I want to thank Q Math for sponsoring this video. I love that the sessions are live and one-on-one, -on -one, not only giving personalized attention to the student, but also having a platform that adapts to the student's cognitive abilities. That is just brilliant and the way to go because every student is going to learn at a different pace. So I'm going to go and bring this in to Bella and I will record her reaction. Hey Bella, I have a snack for you. <gasps> Oh! <laughs> what do you think of this? Wow. How are they seeing up? The flowers? Yeah, the flowers. I made them. Can I eat it? Yeah. You can eat it? The whole thing's for you. I thought we could maybe share it. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Does that look good? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, it is good, too. Yeah. What did you think about Q Math? That was really fun and she was so nice. She was? Yeah. Okay. Are you glad you did it? Yeah, yeah.